We live in a world that always appears transformations. For example, rotation of the Earth is its turning on its axis. The Earth takes 24 hours to complete a rotation with respect to the Sun. The nature scenery of water demonstrates a perfect reflection of horizontal symmetry. And the mere refraction is another perfect reflection of vertical symmetry. In this video, I want to discuss the transformations in geometry, which includes translation, rotation, and refraction. I will put dilation in a separate video. This is Ching Wei. So today let's talk about the transformations in geometry. The first one, translation. Translation simply means moving without rotating or resizing or anything else. So, which means sliding. Okay. So all the points need the direction need to stay the same, and it's just sliding. Okay. So this shape cannot turning or resizing, which means change the size. Okay. The second one is rotation. Rotation means turning around a center. The distance from the center to any point on the shape stays the same. Okay. So, for example, if I have a point right here, then if I rotate with this point and go around, I can rotate something like that. Rotation, which means you can turn with one center point. Okay. Number three, refraction, means every point on the shape is the same distance from a central line. Okay, so refraction will uh, related to a line we call symmetry. For example, if this image is refraction with this line, then it's going to be something like that. Okay. This is also the vertical refraction. So next, let's talk about the symbol for uh, each transformations. Okay, translation. We use capital T A and B to a uh, already known a fixed point X Y. Okay, for example, just like this image. Okay, negative six, negative five. This point, let's put um, like A. Okay, so our then the whole figure is sliding to this one. Okay, this is the new image. Okay, this is the pre-image. This is the image. So you can see that from A move to A prime is from negative six to positive two. So, which means it's translate to A unit to the right and the B unit up. Okay. So, in this case, the A and B in this case is negative six to two is to right eight and then go up negative five to one will be six. About the rotation, if I have a parallelogram this direction, and for example, this point is A, ten, six. So if I rotate counterclockwise, it's going to be the positive number degree here. So counterclockwise, ninety degree to this new image. Then you have to. Flip the x and y, and you have to add the negative in front of the new point. So if I say the a is ten and six, 
in this case. Then here, a prime change into negative six and ten. Number three, refraction. So we use the lowercase r, stand for refraction, and then the, you're going to put the symmetry line after that, and the point x and y. Okay, so your new image will become x and the negative y. If it, your symmetry line is y axis, x y, then it's going to change into negative x and y. Okay, so here in this triangle, you flip with the x axis, then it's going to flip horizontally down. So your new a prime is five negative two. Your original a is five two. Okay. If this image refract this direction with y-axis, then a52 change into negative x and y, which the new a prime is negative five and two. Okay, so after our main course, now here's our dessert, the best in the end. I'd like to share with you about this game from uh, Think Fun. Company. Uh, this is not a promotion for the company, but it's just a game I love to play. It's called Shape by Shape. Okay, so you have a tray like that, and you have some puzzle pieces. If you take it all out, okay. So I didn't count uh, the puzzle pieces. I think it's counted. One, two, three, four. By six, seven, eight, eight yellow pieces, and the, the red set has one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so in this uh, container, there's a drawer. Secret. <laughs> okay, so there's a lot of cards, and then the, the first two mention about how to play the game, but you know it's really easy when you see the game set. You already know, almost know how to play. So, for example, if I draw this card and I have to uh, make the same exactly design on the tray, okay? All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and then uh, arrange it, okay? 